There are plenty of ways to record system sound in Linux, but few are as good as the widely available audio editor Audacity. If you're just getting started with Linux, then you should get Audacity right now. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and here we've got a tutorial on how to use Audacity to record sound on your Linux PC. One of the best parts about Linux is that, as a creative workstation, it's an incredibly viable contender. For audio creation, for example, there are some excellent industry standards available to users, like Audacity and Arda, and overall it's a powerful and flexible system. This tutorial shows you how to record system sound in Linux, both from a microphone and from your system, using Audacity and Pulse Audio. Installing Audacity Audacity is available in a wide variety of distros. It's generally available in the main repositories. For Debian and Ubuntu, or Ubuntu-based distros, type sudo apt install audacity. For Fedora, type sudo dnf install audacity. For OpenSUSE, sudo zipper install audacity. And for Arch Linux, sudo pacman dash capital S install audacity. If you prefer snaps or flat packs, these are also available as well. Flatpak install flathub org.audacityteam.audacity or sudo snap install audacity, whichever you prefer. Installing Pulse Audio Volume Control. This is the application you'll be using to record audio from the system. It's a great way to snag audio from videos, songs or other media for use at a later date. If you've ever wondered how people get high quality audio samples, this is one way to do it. Pulse Audio Volume Control is available in most repositories. You use the same commands as above to install it. For Debian, which I'm using in this case, I will type sudo apt install pavu control. Recording sound from a microphone. With your microphone plugged into your system, open Audacity. It should automatically find your hardware and open up ready to record. Just click the big red record button and you're recording. It's as simple as that. Audacity is such a simple tool to use that it's hard to go wrong. Recording sound from your system. OK, now it starts to get a little bit more complicated. Hit the record button just like above and this will start a recording from your microphone. After you're already recording, open the Pulse Audio Volume Control and navigate your way to the Recording tab. Click on the drop down menu that says ALSA plugin Audacity dot 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 from. Choose the option that says monitor of built in analog stereo. This will keep track of what information applications are sending to Pulse Audio and record that stream rather than the sound coming from your microphone. From there, go ahead and play whatever sound you like and you'll see that the sound is showing up in Audacity as it plays. You can stop recording, scrub through playback or treat whatever sound you're recording just like any other audio inputs into Audacity. OK. I hope you learned a useful thing or two about Audacity and Pulse Audio Volume Control. Now that you know how to record your system sound in Linux, make sure to check out some of the other Linux audio articles, such as improving your audio with PulseFX, how to use ALSA utilities and manage audio from the terminal, and the essential tools for producing high quality podcasts in Linux. All the links for that in the description. Okay, as always, thanks so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.